Hello everyone, welcome back to Techie Pocket, and today I just want to be talking a little bit, well, it's a very short video because I want to ask you some things actually. I want to know, I mean I want to tell you, there's actually no such thing as lag-free monitors. I'm pretty sure you've seen stuff on Amazon and around the internet that say like, it would be a nice monitor but it says lag-free or it says no lag stuff like that and that's just totally not true because there's just no such thing as lag free there's such thing as low lag but there's no such thing as lag free the, the, the fastest response time we have now is one millisecond okay and they tend to call that lag free but there's no such thing as that because it's still one millisecond response time now, since it's only one millisecond, it's probably very unnoticeable, and you probably don't notice it most of the time. But it still is there. It still is one millisecond of lag. Who knows when they will get rid of lag totally, but I don't know why they say lag-free. It's, it's just like the thing about every monitor, every keyboard, and every mouse is gaming mouse just because it has some RGB. At least called an RGB mouse. But that's not what the point of this video actually was. I just wanted to ask you guys, what do you prefer? If you had a choice between these three options, which one of these three would you choose? You have a choice of 144 hertz, 5 milliseconds response time. Option 2 is 60 hertz, 1 milliseconds response time. Or the last option is 260 hertz, 1 millisecond response time. So let's say option 1 was $300, option 2 was $200, and option 3 was $600. I just want to know what you guys would choose if you had to go with those prices and those options. Which of those three would you choose? And I'm just wondering because I'd like to know what do people really prefer? Frame rate, response time, or both? And it seems to me like... 60 hertz is still a standard basically, but 144 hertz should be the standard. But what I don't get is that why is just because it's 60 hertz means it has to be 5 millisecond response time? I haven't found any 60 hertz monitor with 1 millisecond response time, and they should make that because 60 hertz 1 millisecond response time I actually don't think is going to be that bad. The only reason why 60 hertz I think is really really bad is because of the response time. And if 144 hertz had like 10 milliseconds response time like most 60 hertz monitors do, I'm pretty sure 144 hertz would probably not be so good. So I want you guys to tell me below what would you choose, and just, uh, you know, talk a little bit about this. So, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!